Hello everybody and welcome to the channel Out of Ammo, Out of Time. I'm your host with a new microphone. I hope it sounds okay, Krabby Terror 8. And here we are in the next episode of um, the Investigator Games Eldritch Horror Edition. Yes, and for those of you who are new to the channel and don't know what the Investigator Games are, it's a bit like the Hunger Games. So what we do is we take each investigator true solo and put them through different games. Do we do Arkham Horror, the card game, Eldritch Horror, Omens, uh, sorry, <laughs> Eldritch Horror, and Elder Sign Omens, getting mixed up. I'd like to do other ones like Mansions of Madness and uh, others, but uh, time makes it quite difficult. But uh, so yes, we're taking each of the investigators through um, against Azathoth here in Eldritch Horror. And once we've done Azathoth, we will then move on to other other uh, Elder Gods. And based on their performance, we put them in a league table like this. And we can see, uh, for example, Lily Chen is doing reasonably well. This is a tough game to do true solo. Um, no question about it, which is fine because it's not really about winning the game. It's about how well each individual investigator does um, and how far they get. So there's no expectation that anyone's going to win and no one has won so far because uh, it's pretty tough, particularly using the expanded cards, um, some of them with the red tentacles on them and things. So uh, that makes it especially uh, difficult. So the place to start now is to go around the houses and um, just go through all the various bits and pieces and then we can start the game. So uh, here we are with uh, good old Dexter Drake. He's a magician. Um, yes, his, uh, his stat line, not surprisingly, is law is his thing. So a very high law and reasonably high will. He has no one-pointers, but his influence, observation, and strength are sort of more limited in that way. His uh, special action is he can move one monster from your space to another space containing a gate, um, if you wish. Um, and um, once per round, when you gain a spell, you may gain an additional spell. So that's pretty powerful. It basically means you're getting two spells. Um, in that way do not be afraid i have sent spent my entire life doing the impossible well that's good because winning this is a bit impossible i have to say so let's have a look at the back we'll ignore the bits on the right because they don't apply in this case so dextra starts in tokyo japan he starts with one binding spell and one arcane assistant asset we'll have a look at those in a second when the great war ended dexter went from being a soldier to a stage magician his charm and unparalleled skills quickly drew praise from around the world. As he toured the exotic corners of the world, he amassed a collection of genuine occult knowledge. Soon Drake became as much a master of real magic as he is of staged illusions. Eventually, his arcane studies revealed a dark power that is growing in strength. Now in Tokyo, Drake spends his nights performing and his days stopping the end of the world. As you do. Uh, no, no rest for Dexter. So there we go. That's his uh, that's his backstory. Uh, and uh, if we have a look at the cards that he starts with here, and he starts, sorry, with a health of five and a mental health of seven. So obviously he's better at taking horror than he is physical health. Here's his binding spell, which is an incantation. When you or another investigator on any space resolves a combat encounter, you may test law. If you pass, reduce that monster's damage to one during that encounter and flip this card. Nice. So that really kind of keeps the uh, damage down. And obviously, um, it's, a, uh, it's a spell. And then his arcade assistant is an ally. You roll one additional die when resolving a law test as part of a spell effect. So they work together so that you can roll an additional die. So that's very nice little synergy there. For Dexter so clearly amassing spells is a thing for him to do rather than um, rather than uh, uh, you know other sorts of physical weaponry things like that so uh, <clears throat> here's our mythos deck we're obviously not going to shuffle that up but we will uh, shuffle up the unique assets and indeed the spells we'll give them a bit of shuffle 
Uh, we will shuffle up the normal assets and uh, put those out. Uh, I'll just put them out in and see what we get. Right, so let's have a look here. Courier needed. When you gain this card, immediately gain a courier run a courier run unique asset. Then discard this card. Um, and so the unique assets are here. So it would be a courier run from there. There's the Derringer, which is a weapon, um, a fairly weak weapon. So both of these are fairly cheap. Scribes Journal is also cheap. These are quite cheap assets. Uh, items we're putting down here. Scribe Journal. Effects will not cause you to discard your clues or spells unless you choose to. That's actually could be quite handy. And Willful Aristocrat, who's at the other end of the scale, quite expensive. Gain plus one to influence and plus one to will. You may reroll one die when so he would be handy to get. But relatively difficult since we only have two influence. So we would need to that that would be quite difficult for us to achieve the willful aristocrat. So there you go. Some very cheap and relatively more expensive things there. Shuffle up the artifacts. Shuffle up Asia. Shuffle up Europe. Shuffle up America. General expedition. I'll just shuffle this up a few times. And where do we end up? We end up at the pyramids. So we'll put that on the pyramids. There we go. The doom is on 15. These are just all the various conditions. <clears throat> Um, here are the uh, research for Azathoth, research cards starting here uh, on, uh, on this particular, um, this is the green, the green symbol. Here we are in Tokyo. Uh, so let's shuffle up the mystery cards and see which our first mystery is. And our first mystery is the green flame, which is good because we're not a million miles from Tunguska. I think this is Tunguska, is it? Or no, the, no, I'm thinking of something else. Sorry. In response to the cult's invocation, a jet of green flame emerged from a fissure racing across the ceiling and walls as if a living thing. When this card enters plays, when this card enters play, spawn the Tools Cha Epic Monster on a random space. At the end of the Mythos phase, if the Tools Cha Epic Monster has been defeated, solve this mystery. Okay. So let's find this epic monster. There it is. Mm -hmm. There it is. So let's just fl flip it over and have a look. So uh, place an Eldritch token on the green space of the Omen track. Ooh, toughness is equal to, for in our case, three. So it's not too bad in, in that. Now, uh, we will see where it's going to go. So we will shuffle up the clues and its location is location three. So we will move it to location three, which is probably uh, one, two. Where's location three? I should probably have looked in the. That's five, four, one. Not ah, there it is. Right in the middle of the ocean, <laughs> near Buenos Aires. Okay, and there we go. So that's our first thing. We've got to defeat that monster. Um. So fairly straightforward, but we need the tools to do that. So um, that's that's the thing that we need to do. We're going to need to get ourselves something a bit more than just a binding spell, I suspect, if we're going to defeat this monster, because three will. Uh, three fight is probably where we're, um, yeah, where we're sort of most vulnerable. Uh, even three wills, so we need we need some ways of dealing with that. So that's going to be up foremost in our mind. Uh, although we're on Tokyo, which says defeat monsters, so maybe it might be easier than we imagined. But anyway, let's move to uh, the other bits and pieces we need to do. So we need to um, <clears throat> we need to spawn a gate. And the gate we get is Arkham. Arkham. Oh, Arkham. Let's put the gate on Arkham with obviously with a uh, monster, and we start with uh, what do we start with here? A Mygo. Does that start? No. Let's have a look. 
Uh, discard the nearest clue and move to this space. If you defeat this monster during a combat encounter, gain an artifact. Okay, well that's actually quite handy because there is one um, one of these cards, um, mystery cards, which is about gaining an artifact. So that in that sense it's good, but in the other sense it's it's annoying because of the click. It basically gobbles up clues. Um, yeah, and that's sort of how it moves around. So that's a kind of annoying. Um, Okay, and then finally we'll shuffle up a clue. Speaking of clues, so we'll shuffle up a clue to put on the table and it is seven, which is there between uh, South America. Uh, there, so the city here looks like, uh, I don't know where, Panama perhaps. Okay, so there we go. I think we're all set up now. I think those are all the bits and pieces set up so there we go we're here uh, in turn one with Dexter Drake and I think we are ready to go so here we are in turn one with Dexter ready to go in the investigator games crowd goes wild and Dexter waves to the crowd and is ready to go so what are we going to do we're going to start with our two actions here in Tokyo I like the fact that in Tokyo you can defeat a monster <laughs> straight off the bat. So um, it is possible we could do that. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm, I'm going to lean into that. I'm thinking Tokyo, we can defeat a monster. Shanghai, we can improve our law. Why not? Sydney, we can actually improve our strength, which actually might be also worthwhile to do. But we nearly need to get over... If we're going to... If we're going to get this first mystery done we've got to get over to Sydney so that we can get over to Buenos Aires so that's what I'm thinking is that we kind of make our way down to Sydney and then hopefully by then we will we will have acquired some things so I'm hoping that's the way things are going to go um, and hopefully then that will allow us to uh, to defeat that particular monster so the first thing I'm going to do, because I am going to try and use this Tokyo bit to defeat a monster, is I'm probably going to take a focus token. And the reason for that being that that gives me an extra reroll depending on what I get for Tokyo. So my first action is I'm going to take a focus token, be very focused. Uh, and for my um, second action, I'm actually going to um, see if I can... Um, See if I can acquire something at least, which might put out some more interesting items into the reserve. I only have an influence of two, so I'm not exactly loaded. Now it is possible I could I could score a five or a six two, two times, which would be amazing, and then I could take a debt and I could get the Woolful Aristocrat, which would be amazing. But let's see what we get. So let's go shopping. And up we go, and what do we get? We get a four and a three, so we essentially get zero. So I'm not, uh, I could take a debt, but you know what? I'm not really, I'm not really inclined to do that at this stage. So I'm going to leave it, uh, not take a debt, because um, I just don't think it's worth taking. I mean, I could take two uh, and I could get a couple of things here, but to be honest, I'm not feeling it. So. Um, that's the end of our action phase. So we move into the encounter phase. So let's uh, let's grab a uh, uh, a card here for Tokyo and let's see what it says. You hope to convince Goto Shinpei, the Minister of Home Affairs, that occult forces endanger Tokyo. Influence test. Right. So let's do an influence test. Okay. So that's why I got the focus token in case we did this. So we've got an influence test and the focus token um, allows us to re-roll. So um, it's again two dice with a five or a six with the opportunity to re-roll if we need to. So let's go. Let's use our influence here. Absolutely terrible. No influence at all. Let's re-roll one of them. Hello, Mr. One. Let's uh, use our focus token. So we'll put that back. And let's hopefully, this will work better. And no, it doesn't. So we completely fail. Um, if you fail, he sees you as a saboteur and gain a detained condition. 
Well, that's not a good start for Dexter now, is it? <laughs> oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. Okay, so we get a detained condition. Which one's the detained ones? Restriction deal, Bane. Probably the restriction ones, I would say. Um, yeah, here we go. Let's just take the top detained condition here. So I did shuffle them up, so I don't know what it says. You cannot move or perform actions other than the action on this card. Instead of resolving an encounter, flip this card. Local action, test influence. If you pass, discard this card. Okay. Well, that was not the kind of start that I was hoping for. Um, but that's the way it goes in Eldritch Horror. So uh, we, uh, we basically hung around Tokyo with the hope of defeating a monster. But instead, we uh, ended up with a detained condition. So next time, we will try and remove the detained condition, perhaps move on to Shanghai, or if not, uh, try again. So we move into the Mythos phase. Let's see what the Mythos phase has for us. And we are starting with a blue one. Space 7. Uh, okay, with a, a clue. on space seven. Okay, let's see what it says. A dozen unpleasant looking strangers have settled into Panama with a large collection of astronomical reference books. There is something unique about this place and time that allows them to rip apart the fabric of a, of a reality. Stars aligned on going rumor as an encounter, an investigator on space seven, where there's already a clue, may attempt to find these strangers based on his observation. If he passes, he convinces La Policia to remove these strangers. He may spend clues to <clears throat> equal to half, so to one, to solve this rumor. Okay, so we'll move this over here. We will spawn a clue. I think we just spawn a clue. So let's shuffle up the clues and put a clue out. At number six. Number six. Where is that? I should have had a look at where it is on here. Okay. Let's... Um, It's there, isn't it? Oop. Yes, so we'll put that there. And um, we'll get the rumor. I had a rumor. The fabric of reality was tearing me in Panama. And that goes here with this clue. So they're co inhabiting the spot right here. There we go. All right, so that's not too bad. The reckoning, however, advances the omen by one so the problem is that that's going to make the omen go down a lot faster so it kind of would be a good idea to deal with that so maybe rather than hanging around tokyo we should get ourselves over to san francisco and get that rumor solved that might be a good idea so um yes i'm sort of thinking that maybe that might be a better idea now that there's uh, because we don't want the um 
Yeah, this can creep up on you, advancing the omen by one, and before you know it, it's at zero. So that is probably worthwhile doing something about. Um, um, unfortunately, observation is again not one of our strongest suits, but I think it might be um, it might be worthwhile doing that. Okay, so anyway, that's the end of the mythos phase. So we move into um, turn two. Uh, and uh, and here we are, Dexter Drake, delay detained in Tokyo at the moment, which means we cannot move or perform actions other than the action on this card. So that's basically we can't do anything until we test and if we pass, discard this card. So hopefully we can do that now. So it's a local uh, influence. So that's a that's two. Uh, we can basically roll two for this. And hopefully this will work. Here we go. Local influence. Let's get a five or a six, and we get a five. Oh my goodness, that is that is lucky. So if you pass, discard this card. So that's good. We've discarded the card. Uh, where is it? Could not be suit restriction. We'll just put it here. So we've done that. That's that's fantastic. So that's that's one of our actions. So uh, that means we have a second action. So so either we could try and defeat a monster again, we could give that another go, or we could buy a ship ticket to get ourselves, and then next time we could get ourselves to San Francisco. I'm thinking I might do that because there's a couple of clues here. It would be good to get a clue. It might be good to try and close a gate or at least try and resolve this rumor. But even if we don't, having a ship ticket can get us to Sydney anyway. So that so I think it's worthwhile getting ourselves a ship ticket. So we'll get ourselves a ship ticket as of our second action. Okay. So that's our action. So we move into events and we're going to take another event here in Tokyo and hopefully it runs better than last time. The polit a politician sees your courage in his dreams and offers to help. Gain one random service asset from the deck. Wow. Okay. A politician sees your courage in his dreams and offers to help gain a random service asset from the deck. A service asset. It's okay. Well, let's just, it's random. So let's just keep until we get a service asset. That's an item. Wow. This is service teamwork. There we go. So we'll put that back in. We'll flip that over. Shuffle that. So let's bring this over. It's a wireless report, which is very nice. So this says you can. Uh, sorry, I'm just just. Reading. When you gain this card, immediately give any number of clues to another investigator on any space and discard this card. Well, that is totally useless. But anyway, it's it's a thought that counts, as they say. Oh dear, how useless. All right, never mind. Let's keep reading. He teaches you to invoke the Baku, a beast that eats nightmares. You may discard any number of possessions to cause one monster of your choice on any space to lose an equal amount of health. You may discard any number of possessions. Ah, that's not a possession that we can discard, unfortunately, because it says immediately do this and discard this card. So that, that's unfortunate. So it's saying we can uh, discard any number of possessions, of possessions, to cause one monster of your choice to, you know, and any space to lo lose an equal amount of health. So we could literally get rid of these two and give this one uh, two damage, because at the moment I think its health is equal to three. Well, that's not, not bad guess but it means we're giving up a lot to do that um, I don't feel inclined to do it to be honest so that seemed like a great idea but in reality it wasn't much of an idea <laughs> so uh, I don't I don't really want to give these up at the moment because I think they're really really handy so I think I think we uh, just keep going on so that was I mean, we got rid of our detained condition, but unfortunately that didn't really help us very much. So we're still in Tokyo. We haven't really done anything. I think we're going to leave Tokyo next time and 
head over to San Francisco, get this rumor done, then down to Buenos Aires, and then we'll try and do so I think that's the plan. Get to San Francisco. Then after we've been in San Francisco, we'll get down and get this rumor solved, maybe pick up a clue. And then once we've done that, we will move to Buenos Aires. But before we do all that, let's see what the mythos phase has for us. And the mythos has said, oh, this is a really nasty one. The old woman's finger fingers dig through the veneer. Oh, hold on, before we do that, let's do, okay, let's move this around. So that moves to there. Then we have the reckoning. So reckoning effects take into it. Well, first of all, advance the omen by one. So the omen goes down to 14 as a reckoning effect. The MIGO also has a reckoning effect, which means discard the nearest clue and move to the space. So that clue gets discarded and the MIGO moves there. Okay, so that clue is now uh, discarded. Uh, and are there any other reckoning effects? I don't think so. I think they're the only two. And then we spawn a gate, of course. So we spawn a gate. Flip that. And we get uh, Tunguska. So we will put that there. We will spawn a monster. I keep flipping instead of. And what do we get? Oh, well, that was exciting. We get a Night Gaunt. If this, if there's an investigator on this space, move him and this monster one space and he becomes delayed. Otherwise, move this monster two spaces towards the nearest investigator. Okay. So there's a bit of moving around. All right. So another reckoning effect. Okay, they're on Tunguska. Okay, so let's read what this says now. The old woman's fingers dig through the deer's entrails. Ew, reading the future by some unfathomable means. In the end, she warns of certain doom approaching for a large city. Draw and resolve a disaster unless investigators as a group spend clues equal to one. Well, we don't have any clues, so we have to draw and resolve a disaster. Okay, so let's flip this. Let's look what this says. Explosions in London. One by one, the city's landmarks inexplicably explode in an act of meticulously orchestrated anarchy. The subsequent riots and looting cannot be contained. Each investigator on London, thankfully not me, loses five health and three sanity and gains two madness conditions and London is devastated. Okay, so uh, based on that, let's just put a little devastation counter onto London. Well, we weren't planning on going there anyway, but uh, it's gone. So uh, there we go. Um, there we go. So that's that's that. So that's not, I mean, sounded worse than it actually is. We weren't planning on going to London anytime soon. So there we go. So let's move into turn three. So we move into turn three. And here we are with Dexter Drake. So we have two actions. We're here in Tokyo. I'm going to use the uh, ship uh, ticket. And uh, I am going to move. I'm not going to hang around in Tokyo any longer. I'm going and I'm going to move to uh, two and then to San Francisco. So we uh, Dexter Drake has moved back to San Francisco. Uh, and we can now do a uh, uh, an event in uh, San Francisco and see how we go. Maybe better than we did in Tokyo. You read disturbing occult tomes from the Zebulon. Actually, I just realized before we do that, I have, an, I have another action. Sorry. Before I do that, I actually have another action. Once I'm in San Francisco, we can do something else. Sorry. Um, before I read that. So... Um, So for our second action, um, I think I'm going to take another focus token because I want to make sure that whatever we do, we pass it. Okay, so we've two actions. We moved to San Francisco with a ship token and then we uh, took a focus token. So let's see what uh, San Francisco has for us now. You read disturbing occult tomes from the Zebulon Far Collection. Will. If you pass, you unlock hidden abilities within yourself, gain one talent condition. If you fail, the monstrous words unhinge your mind. So we better get this. So it's a roll of three. So we can re-roll if we need to. But let's see if we can just do a roll of three 
So we'll shuffle that up and see how we go. And indeed we pass. So that's fantastic. So that means we gain a talent condition. So let's go up to the talent conditions. Restriction, debt, bane, booming, exposure, illness, injury, madness, talent. And what do we get? We get during the encounter phase, you may test um, you may test um, observation. If you pass, you may choose an encounter. You may choose an, as if there are no monsters on your space. Okay. Not, probably not the best one for Dexter, but never mind. Okay. There we go. That's our encounter. So uh, this time we basically got ourselves to San Francisco. Uh, we got ourselves a, a, a talent for being elusive. So next time... Um, I think what we're going to do is we are going to um, probably take another focus token, move down to um, seven and see if we can resolve this rumor. But before we do that, let's see what the uh, what the Mythos deck has for us. We're going to move this round to red. First of all, we are going to spawn a monster on red, which I don't think there are any red. Is that right? That's the, what the monster surge does. I always, always forget this particular one. Uh, resolve a monster surge on each space containing gate across monster corona moment or spawn a gate if none are red. But there are. Arkham is the one. So we spawn a monster on Arkham. And it's another one with that is a spawn of Sebak. Gain one injury condition for each health you lose from the strength test. Whoa. Wow. Each investigator in this space loot. That is that is one nasty monster. That is really nasty. That's 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 quite strong. So that's the reckoning, is it? Gain an injury condition for each health you lose. Oh no, it's not. No, no. The the reckoning conditions of each investigator on this space loses a sanity. I think we just quietly leave that alone. I think that's a sign that we don't worry about that. Um, and we spawn a uh, clue as well. So we will spawn up a clue. And it's clue nine. All upside down, which is interesting. So clue nine. They're all in the similar sorts of spaces, aren't they? It's interesting. Okay. There we go. That's nine, isn't it? Yes. Okay. I think we'll be going there anytime soon. You cannot believe that this gibbering lunatic was once the smiling, lucid lawyer you spoke to this morning. Collapsed, his trembling hands indicated, em indicated empty air. The worlds collided and the doors collapsed. He abruptly pulls himself off the floor and looks out the small window of his cell. But so too will they pull. They will rip and tear and a new door will open elsewhere. Dimensional instability. Discard each gate that corresponds to the current omen and advance doom by one for each gate discarded. So that's discarding the Arkham gate and put the doom down by one. Interesting. Wow. Okay. All right. Fair enough. Well, that got rid of that gate anyway. Okay. So it's now our turn. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to grab a focus token. So we've now got two of them. Very nice. And the second thing we're going to do is to move to space seven so that we can resolve this rumor with any luck. Okay, so that's the that's our two actions. So we move into the encounter phase and it says here, as an encounter, an investigator on space seven may attempt to find these strangers based on his observations of the stars. Observation. So we've got an observation of two. Here we go, and we can re-roll twice if we need to. So let's roll these up, five or a six, let's, yes. Ooh, wow, we succeed twice. So we are successful. If he passes, he convinces La Policia. Okay. So, um, yeah, we're here in the encounter phase, so we are going to try and deal with this. But the first thing we've got to do is we've got to spend clues. So the first thing we're going to do is get this clue. And then once we've got this clue, we can then do it. So it's kind of a two-step uh, idea. So the first thing we'll do is we will do, the, um, we will do a clue, a research encounter, see how we go. 
we're in a city here. So Research Encounter, the university allows you to use its telescope to search for signs of a green comet, observation minus one. If you pass, gain this clue and an additional clue. If you fail, you find nothing looking through the endless depths of space and become delayed. So basically we get to roll with one dice, but we could re-roll it twice. So let's try it. Let's go. First try, come on, five or a six, and we get a five. <laughs> oh yes, 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 yes. We didn't need to use our, our focus tokens. So uh, if you pass, gain this clue and one additional clue. Wow, whoops. Oh, I accidentally pulled them all. Never mind, doesn't matter. Okay, <laughs> I didn't realize I'd pulled them all. Doesn't matter, doesn't matter. Let's flip them back over. <laughs> Do that sometimes. Okay, so uh, that was lucky. Okay. So we get the clue, fantastic, and we get an additional clue, fantastic. So we have two clues now and two focus tokens, so that's very, very nice. Um, so our job next time is to get rid of this rumour, um, and then we can then hopefully move on from there, go down to Buenos Aires, get ourselves a ritual spell which will give us an additional ritual spell which hopefully we can then use to get rid of this monster and we can get rid of the first mystery. That's the, that's the plan. Okay, fantastic. But before that, <laughs> um, before that, let's see what the old mythos phase has for us. And the mythos phase has, okay, so we move that forward to blue. We do the reckoning. Reckoning here is there's a few things. So let's get the reckonings done. The advance of the omen by one again. Okay, what does this do with the reckoning? Each investigator on this space loses a sanity, but we're not there. The Migo, thank goodness we got this clue because I don't think there are any. Oh, yes, the mic. Sorry, Dexter. The Migo moves to here and chews up that, that uh, clue. So that's another clue gone in the trash um, and something else yes here the night gaunt what does the night gaunt do the night gaunt if there is an investigator on this space there's not otherwise move this monster two spaces towards the nearest investigator so Istanbul so the night gaunt is on the hunt so there we go that's all the reckonings oh this has a reckoning as well place one eldritch token on the green space of the omen track and I realize we should have actually done that last reckoning as well so there should be two eldritch tokens that is really horrible because that means when it moves oh boy yeah i forgot so there's now three eldritch tokens there so we really do need to get rid of this oh boy that's bad because that will um that will make the um doom go down even faster um, advance the doom for each yeah there's three on there now because I didn't I didn't get the other one because there was that one and there was that one so there should be yeah three on there ouch that's actually quite nasty let's spawn a gate and the gate we get is San Fran I'll just flip that over so we don't confuse it the gate we get here is San Francisco so that means actually next time this goes around the doom track will go forward by Four. Yes, four. Oh boy. And a monster. And the monster we draw is a carrier night gaunt, which says if you pass both the will and strength test, you may choose to have this monster lose no health. If you do, you and this monster move us to a space within two spaces. Okay. So that actually could be beneficial. Um yeah, that's going to really mess with the Doom track for poor old Dexter. Anyway, because we're here on seven. So we've got the problem with this particular game is there's a lot of things conspiring um, to, to just make the Doom track go down super fast. So we really, we really do need to get rid of this monster over here. Okay, let's read the rest of it. 
Even an image of this ancient god will in instantly mummify all those who behold it. Its victims live for tortuous eons, their brains perfectly preserved in their new leathery form, unable to move or speak. The lead investigator loses all of his health, unless investigators as a group spend two clues. His health loss cannot be prevented. Uh, well, I've got the two clues. So there you go. I lose both of the clues. Wow, that is that is brutal. Thank goodness I have both of the clues, because if I hadn't, that would have been the end. So I'll put those in the trash. Gone are the clues, which means I can't resolve this rumor now. Um, that's awful. That is really awful. Some of these cards are really, really terrible. <laughs> Poor old Dexter. Wow. Okay. Well, we lost both the clues, but at least we had two clues. Otherwise, it would have been the end of the game. Anyway, there we go. Okay. So that's the end of the mythos phase. So we move into turn five. We were going to resolve this rumor, but now we can't. Uh, and there are no other clues on the table. So we just keep going, I guess. We'll move to. Bu so what we'll do is our first action is we will move to Buenos Aires. That is our first action. Our second action in Buenos Aires, we'll probably get a ship ticket because we're going to need it at some stage. So we will grab a ship ticket in Buenos Aires. So there we go. So now we have uh, an encounter and we will take an encounter in Buen Buenos Aires. See how we go. Um, Buenos Aires, Pedro Astete, Astete, Pedro Astete wrote about a vision of Masma, a city beneath the Andes. You try to determine the dream's true meaning, law. Perfect for me. If you pass, you discern, discern the serpent people's magic, gain one non-incantation spell. If you fail, you have nightmares. Okay, so we just need to do law. Now, I don't think we can use this for this. This is as part of a spell effect. However... We're, we're, we're four here, and we've got two focus, but I don't think we're going to need them, he says. Famous last words. So here we go. Let's shuffle them up, and yes, we do pass. So we pass, which means we gain one non-ritual spell, and I believe if we look here, when you gain a spell, you can gain an additional spell. Okay, so one, and it's non-ritual, non-ritual spell. Is it any old spell? It just says gain one spell. I'm just going to take them from the top because I think it sounds kind of random. So non-ritual, this is non-ritual spell. You may re-roll one die when resolving a observation or a strength test. Okay, so that's the first spell we get. And the second spell we get is, is this a glamour spell? Monsters you encounter lose physical resistance. You may reroll up to two die when resolving a strength test during a combat encounter. Okay. And that's called cool. enchant weapon. It's not really going to help us too well, is it? Because we will be do we will be rolling one dice to get this. Um, so we need to find some other way of um, hmm. Okay. All right. So that was kind of good, but not not as helpful as we perhaps would need. So, but anyway. Um, okay. All right. So uh, that's the end of our um, end of our encounter phase. So we now move into the mythos phase uh, and let's see what the lovely mythos phase has for us. So uh, this is another this is another one with. Uh, OK, so we will draw a clue. And the clue we get is on 17. 
which is just above our nest just there. And the rumor. And the rumor. Uh, where's the rumor go? The rumor goes on space 20. It's up there. Okay. Around the world, children are being stolen from their homes. No governments or other institution will aid you until the abduction stopped. You must travel to Indonesia and appease the vengeful spirit of Wewe Gombel. Time is running out. Ongoing rumor. As an encounter, an investigator on Space 20 may attempt to appease the vengeful spirit. He may spend one clue to solve this rumor. Um, if we have a um, reckoning, discard the top card of the Mythos deck. Then if there are no cards remaining in the Mythos deck, investigators lose the game <laughs> okay oh boy this is getting getting bad and the problem is we've we've lost all our clues uh which was really unfortunate like that couldn't have come at a worse time so um and i'm just not sure how we're going to fight this thing um because we can't at the moment so we're going to need to keep trying to get ritual spells to, to get rid of this as well um there we go well at least at least there wasn't a reckoning effect because we've got a ton of reckoning effects now so there we go that's the end of that of round five so we move into round six we're here in buenos aires i am not going to try and get rid of this yet um at the moment i'm going to stay where i am so i think the first thing we might do is do some shopping i'm going to see uh we have an influence of two so i'm going to see if we can buy something so and Yes, we can buy one thing. Um, we could take a deck condition and buy three things. Um, and the scribe's journal would have been handy, wouldn't it? Effects cannot cause you to discard your clues or spells. That would have actually been a really nice card to have gotten uh, so that we wouldn't have lost those clues. But anyway. Um, I think what I'll do is I'm just going to take the Derringer, which isn't very good, but it, it, it's the one. And then let's see if we can draw something better from here. Tome of Secrets. Once per round, you may spend a focus in place of spending a clue. That's what I need. That's what I need. That would be great because I've got two focuses, focus tokens, and no clues. So that would be quite handy. So there we go. So that's the... Um, So that's the uh, that's the end of the um, so we shopped we, we did the shopping so we've still got one action to go um, what are we gonna do here um, oh, um, I don't want to move I don't need to rest so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take another ship ticket you're only allowed to so I'll take another one so there we go all right, so we move into the encounter phase. We will have a look again at another rich, uh, another um, Buenos Aires encounter. So you you discuss magic with an immigrant named Shmakov. Gain one non-incantation spell. Right, so we get two. So this is not an incantation. It is, so we don't get that one. Another glamour spell. How many of these glamour spells are we going to get? This is very annoying. So we get another glamour spell, Alter Fate. You may trade conditions, focus, improvement tokens, and impairment tokens as part of a trade action. That is completely useless. And uh, another incantation, which we can't take, but then we can take this one, Arcane Insight, I think, which is a ritual. Uh, here we go. And what does this allow us to do? Choose yourself or another investigator on any space and test law minus two. Roll an additional die for each tome. If you pass, that investigator gains a clue. So we can do that as an action. That's actually that's actually really good. Okay. So that's something. All right. Um, so there we go. Um, now there's more. Um, If you pass, you free his victims. So we've got to do an attack minus one. Well, that's a one for us. So it's an attack. Now what happens if we... F 
If you pass, you freeze victims. One of them bless you blesses you gain a boon condition. If you okay, so this wouldn't be mad. this would be good to get. So let's try it. Let's see how we go. First of all, so roll it up five or a six, and we get a six. So we pass. Wow. So we gain a boon condition. Uh, where are the boons? Boons. Yep. We get a boon condition. We have got so many conditions here. It's getting out of control here. So the boon condition is blessed, four, five, or six. Great. So four or five or six for tests. Fantastic. Okay. That's pretty good. That's not bad, actually. So, uh, yeah. So um, there we go. Okay. So, um, yes. So I'm thinking of what I'm going to do next time. We're still not really in a position so we can limit how much damage we get from a monster. We can roll additional dies if we need to. We can um, we can use this elusive if we need to. But these ones here, um, you know, resolve strength or observation test, that's all right. Enchant weapon, you re-roll. But the problem is that we're only ever rolling one strength card. Um, this one here, trade, um, things well we can't trade things anyway and this one here is great for getting clues but we really don't have a way of being more offensive from a strength perspective that's the thing that's uh, that's a little bit difficult for us at the moment so um, okay so let's see what the mythos uh, has for us and so we move this around to here, which means that is now, uh, that means that this moves down by four. One, two, three, four to eight. Wow, that is such a lot. Um, a monster appears where there are green ones, which is on San Francisco. So the monster we get is a sand dweller. Okay, so the Sand Dweller also moves on to San Francisco. Uh, and a clue is spawned. And the clue... Oh, we didn't shuffle it up, sorry. And the clue is on 20, which is down near Australia. Hooray! There, it's where the rumour is. There we go. Well, that's handy if we could get over there. Um, <laughs> getting there is the problem. But uh, at least that's something. So uh, let's see what this says. Letters begin to arrive telling you of the unexpected tragedies that have beset your friends. Oh dear. You do not intend to fall victim to whatever traps await you, but you cannot help but wonder, when the time comes, will you be ready for the axe to fall? You are not prepared. Each investigator gains one injury condition or one madness condition unless he spends a clue. So we get an injury and a madness condition. And the injury condition is a back injury. And the madness condition is uh, amnesia. All right. <laughs> Jeez. This is getting a bit unwieldy now. Look at look at this. This is just like so what's the what's the back injury tell us? When you perform a rest action, you may roll one die. <coughs> On a five or a six, discard this card. And amnesia, when you perform a rest action, you may... Okay. So, um, yeah. Okay. Look at this. This is so many things here. All right. So that's the... Uh, that's that's uh, that you are not prepared. Okay. Thankfully, there wasn't a, um, a reckoning there, but that's going to be coming soon. And Doom is really, really having an effect. The most frustrating thing is is not being able to really fight this because it's got a three and we're doing a dice roll of one. So um, yes, we really are not really in a position to fight it. Okay, so we move into turn seven. And um, I think one of our actions is, I think, well, I think there's two actions. I think the first thing we do is we look to rest because when you perform a rest, you can roll a dice. On a five or a six, discard this card. On a five, or, I'm, I'm assuming they're separate rolls. So, okay. So the first roll for the back condition from the rest 
and I get a six. So that's great. So that's gone. So the back condition has gone. I've been pretty lucky with most of the dice rolls actually. And then we will do it again. We'll roll it up for the madness condition and we get a five as well. Wow, that's super lucky. So we, we only very temporarily become amnesic and lose our, uh, get, get a back condition. We very quickly get rid of both of those. So that was our first action. We, we don't can't gain anything else from the rest condition. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to use this arcane insight. Choose yourself, yes. Roll law minus two. Roll an additional die for each tome you have, which we don't. But um, if you pass, you gain a clue. So um, that's two. Uh, we can't use. Oh, hold on. You may re-roll one die when no. Um, no. Nope. So we've got no other ways of dealing with it, but we have these focus tokens. So let's see how we go. Let's roll them up. Five and a th three. Yep, five and a three, so we get one. So we succeed. If you pass, we gain a clue. Fantastic. So we get a clue. Fantastic. And we flip this over. See what it says. One to two, opening your mind to new knowledge proves stressful, loser sanity. Okay, well, I think it's worth it. Okay, there we go. So there we go. We got a clue, which is, that's really, really handy. So uh, no shortage of stuff, but still no way of really dealing with um, this card. So uh, that was our two actions. So we move into uh, another... Um, encounter in Buenos Aires and it says here Santa Rosa storm threatens to flood the city you try to get those trapped by the waters to safety strength if you pass an LD man rewards you with heroism gain a random trinket asset I'll lose a health okay so it's just a strength test And I think we have here, you may reroll one die when resolving a strength test. So, uh, okay, it's two and we could reroll if we need to. So let's see how we go. We don't need to, so we do. So we get a trinket, trinket asset from the deck, random trinket asset. I should put these back in and roll this up. Is that a trinket? It is. So we get the puzzle box. You may perform a rest action. When you perform a rest action, you may attempt to open the puzzle box. If you pass, discard this card and gain an artifact. Oh, I just realized we're blessed. So we doing, should be doing four, five, or six. Okay. All right. So there we go. So that's, um, that's the end of our encounter. Very nice, so we'll put this back here, and um, uh, it's time for another Mythos phase. Uh, it's interesting, there's hardly any it's hardly any gates on the board, but we're already down to do mate. Really is, uh, really is unfortunate, uh, and there's no way of um, taking those off there now, but let's see what the Mythos phase has for us. And the Mythos phase, yes, moves the Doom Rain by one, and are there no there's not nope no nope. oh i just realized that tunguska is also green so that should actually be on seven wow okay um and now the reckoning happens there is so many reckoning things let's start with what's on the board this is a reckoning each investigator in space loses a sanity, so that doesn't happen. Is this a reckoning? Nope. I don't think this is either. No, so they're not. They don't have reckonings. This does. I think it just moves two spaces. So the night gaunt moves one, two, because it can't move up. Oh no, probably one, two, towards us. Any other reckonings here now? Let's do these reckonings now. This reckoning here has advanced the omen by one, so it goes down to six. 
And this one is discard the top card of the Mythos deck. So that just gets discarded. Okay. Um, now I've just got to just keep it to the side just for a second because um, I'm reading this one. So that's those two reckonings. Now we've got all these reckonings. So test law and flip this card. So we have a law of four. Okay, law of four. Let's see what happens. Ooh, hold on. That wasn't was doing the right thing. Here we are. Law of four. Ooh, we completely fail. Do we? No, let's just see what happens. Zero. You no longer hear the howl within. If you rolled any ones, discard the card. I did. I don't know those rolled over. I'm sorry, but yes, they were one. Oh, my goodness. So we, not that I really care about this card that much. It wasn't that helpful. Okay, so we got lost that one. Now test law and then flip this card. So we do it again. Hopefully this one goes better. Uh, we get one five. Oh, that's annoying. Okay. Maintaining the enchantment for extended periods of time drains your mind, loses sanity. Okay. Then we've got this altered fate. We test again. And we get a six and a five. So that's two successes. Your enchantment protects your weapons from typical wear and tear. No additional effect. Uh, sorry, that was the wrong one. <laughs> it's this one. Uh, your ability to rewrite history is flawless. No additional effect. Flip this card. Mm -hmm. Then we have... No, that doesn't... Ah, oh, we should have flipped that card before. Did we? Yes, we did. We did. Okay, but it doesn't have a reckoning. This has a reckoning. Roll one dice or a one or a two. Discard this card. Okay, let's just choose the green... One, two, roll. Two, you're kidding me. So we lose our boon. And um, that's it. I think that's all of the reckonings. My goodness, a lot of them. Then we, um, once we've done that, we then draw a gate. So few gates, it's really weird. We've had almost no gates but on the Amazon, but we've had so much, um, so much doom. Oh, and here we go. This is a hunting horror. Move this monster to the nearest space containing an investigator. Wow, okay, so that is bad, luckily. Wow, okay, that's the hunting horror. Um, <clears throat> and um, finally, let's read out what it says. Lightning cracks across the sky. You have a sinking dread that all the good you've accomplished is about to be undone. Each monster recovers all health. Well, then each investigator immediately encounters each monster on his space in the order of his choice. Okay, well, there's no monsters. That gets... Um, that gets um, discarded as per the... Okay, so we are now into turn eight. So things are moving apace. So what do we do here? Do we... It's really hard to know what to do because we could move up to seven and we could seek to resolve seven. Um, but, and then... Um, or we could um, try and get another spell that's going to help us get rid of this monster. Because at least then we've resolved... Ah, I forgot the Mygo. The Mygo, I missed the Mygo. The Mygo, sorry, would move all the way over to 17. Easy to miss the Mygo. Sorry. So, um, because we need some way of dealing with this and we don't really have a way of doing that. Um, we could move to the Amazon and try and, but again, this hunting horror, we just really don't have a way of 
Well, I suppose we do in this case, but it's a three, so it's really quite a nasty card, no, a nasty monster. So, um, hmm. And I'm worried that the hunting horror is actually going to attack us and we're a little bit vulnerable to that kind of thing. So I really feel like we need to try to get some kind of spell that we can actually use. So I think for our first action, I'm going to try and do this puzzle box here. We're going to have a rest action, which going to give us some sanity back. And we are going to attempt to open the puzzle box with one dice. So we're rolling a one. see how we go okay here we go and we get a six we do it wow okay so we gain an artifact fantastic so that was a good start um, so we gain an artifact and the artifact we gain please be something worthwhile pentacle of planes defeat one monster on your space you lose sanity equal to its toughness. Reduce the damage and horror of monsters you encounter by two to a minimum of one. Wow! What an artifact! Wow! That is incredible! Action. Defeat one monster on your space. You lose sanity equal to its toughness. Reduce the damage and horror of monsters you encounter by two to a minimum of one. There we go. Wow, what a card to get. Okay, well, suddenly our sanity has become a currency we can use to defeat monsters. So that's, that's something. Wow, amazing. Okay, so there we go. Um, yeah, okay. So then let's move in. So that was our first action. That was a rest action. Um, second action. Um, I think we use this. I think we can do this. Yeah, so the other actions we could do is we could move one monster from your space. There's no monsters there. We could shop and try and get something like the Tome of Secrets. Um, so we could do some shopping. Um or we could um, mm, try and get another um, clue token. Um, it's difficult to know what to do. Um, hmm. I think I might shop because this gets better with each tome and we could use a tome. Uh, is this a tome? It is. So why don't we do the shopping? So two. Let's see how we go. Let's shuffle them up and see where we get. And we don't get anything. Okay, we'll leave it at that. All right, that's our two actions. So we move into the encounter phase again in Buenos Aires. And let's see what Buenos Aires has for us this time. A copy of the Necronomicon is kept at the University of Buenos Aires, but the librarian tells you that it's not available for viewing at this time. You try and convince him of the book's importance. Influence. So we're an influence of two. All right, let's see how we go. So we will try and influence him. Come on. No. All right. So what I might do is I might, um, I don't think we can re-roll these, but I could put in a focus token and just re-roll one of them. See how we go. Hello. Okay, there we go. No, I'll do it again. Last chance. And no fail all right so that's two focus tokens gone ah. ah do we try it again with a clue i am I'm gonna put in a clue i'm gonna re-roll again come on give me a five or a six come no what a waste of time oh my goodness total waste all gone really wanted that but anyway Wasted all our re-rolls. Never mind. Okay, so that was a complete failure. No Necronomicon for us. Cannot, cannot convince him. All right, so we move into the Mythos phase. Uh, flip this over. 
Um, so this moves around to red. Now, um, um, yeah, I'm pretty sure. There are red ones. There's uh, the Amazon. It's the only one. So this moves down to a Doom of Five, really running out of time. There is a monster surge on the Amazon. And we get another <laughs> Proto Shogoth. We get another, um, all these monsters have uh, some kind of reckoning effect. So that's on the Amazon as well. And we spawn a clue. And that's at the pyramids. There we go. There's the clue at the pyramids. Okay. You had, you had told everyone the parchment was indecipherable, but you were lying. You know the ritual necessary to summon and bind the dark power. You could strike a bargain with it. The situation is desperate, but you know that a solution is within your its power. But will you, what will it ask of you in return? A proposition. The leading Vesco made down a dark pack condition to me. Yes, 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 yes. I don't care. I'm gaining a dark pack condition. Dark pack condition. Here we go. I don't care what the deal is. We're doing it. It says roll one die on a one. Right. Okay. So we got the dark pack condition. We can immediately solve one of these rumors. Uh, this one advance the omen by one this one doesn't feel like there's how many there's seven cards here yes absolutely this one okay so we resolve that fantastic okay that was a that was actually a really good one um, I'm happy with that yep great so that's solved fantastic Oof. okay wow all right let's move into um, Yes, let's move into turn nine. So we start turn nine in a much better position than we did in turn eight. Um, we now have the opportunity to um, to actually defeat uh, this monster um, because we have this wonderful pentacle of planes. Whoops. We have this wonderful pentacle of planes. Defeat a monster, you lose sanity equal to its toughness. So the first action I'm going to do is I'm going to move here. Um, and for my second action, uh, now it has um, I just realized I think I should have put another Eldritch token on that Doom track. I'm not sure I should have. Oh boy, there's four of them on there now. Yeah. Anyway, um, so it has toughness of three. So I am going to use the Pentacle of Planes as an action. Defeat a monster in your space. You lose sanity equal to its toughness. Five, four, three, and we defeat this monster. Fantastic. Wow. Okay, so we defeated the monster. Yay! Which means we can put a... If at the end of the mythos, if the mythos has been defeated, solve this mystery. So that will be solved at the end of the mythos phase. That's one mystery that will be solved, I hope. <laughs> Famous last words. Not that it's going to help because we're, we're getting close to zero. So if we manage to do any more, we'll be doing really, really well. So, and we... We took a ton of sanity out as in the process. But anyway, there we go. That's the end of our action. So we'll have a C encounter. See how we go. Let's see. Fever has broken out among the passengers. Oh, you begin to hallucinate. Ah, I'm playing a game on some computer I've never heard of or something in the future. If you pass, your visions prove useful once once you recover and gain one clue. If you failed, your mind is never truly the same. Lose two sanity. Uh, unless, okay, so we're a three will. So we've got to draw, right, we've got a three will. Let's do it, do it. Roll up, come on, five or a six, and we do get a five, so we pass. That's brilliant. So we gain a clue. Fantastic. Oops. There we go. So we get a clue. Okay, not bad. Okay, great. Okay, 
Good stuff. Let's move into the mythos phase. And uh, boy, reckoning. Here we go. So this moves around to blue. Um, there are no blues on the table. I don't think. No, there's lots of greens. Yeah, this, this is probably going to flip. This is got we're, we're, we've got done next time. All right, reckoning. Okay, so first of all, the proto shogoth. Uh, move this monster one space towards the nearest investigator. Then an investigator on this space. Okay, so we we move that one space to Buenos Aires. This one here. Move this monster to the nearest space containing an investigator. Okay. And I think then it says, then an investigator on that space immediately encounters it. So no messing, it's straight away. So, uh, all right, let's go ahead and do this. So first of all, we do a will, minus one. Oof, this is nasty. Uh, okay, and then we have a binding here. When you try, when you run on any space resolve the combat, you may test law. If you pass... Reduce that monster's damage to one during that encounter. Well, that's good. Um, yeah, don't think we've been. Oh, hold on. Reduce the damage and horror of monsters you encounter by two to a minimum of one. Okay, that's good. All right, so we will test law. We are a three versus, a, and we've got two rolls, but it's fine because. Um, we can reduce it by two. So we can roll this up. And we get one, which means we fail by two, which means because of the pentacles, we take one. Thank goodness. Now we do the uh, two for the fight. Now... Um, Let's see here. First of all, you can add to the result of one die when resolving a strength test. So we have one. You may re-roll up to two die, so we can re-roll, but we're a two. So we can re-roll two and we can add one. So let's roll them up. Let's see how we go. And we get two sixes. Wow. <laughs> wow. Okay, so we get two uh, versus two. Uh, and that does two damage. So we don't take any damage, and we do two damage to the hunting horror. That was extremely lucky that that happened. Okay, so that was a very, very lucky outcome. I wasn't really expecting that. Um, okay, that's another, that's all that reckoning. Um, does that have a reckoning? No. Does that have a reckoning? No. Yes, that does, but I think we already, yeah, lose the sanity. Okay. Um, we did the Proto Shogoth. The Mygo moves to here. And eat that clue. Thank you, Mygo. Um, I think that's the board ones done. Um, so next, let's now that we've done the board ones, I think we now can do all these ones down here. And there's quite a lot of them. So where do we start? Let's start with this one here. Test law. So we are a law of four. Uh, all fail. Nought. All at once the magic vanishes. If you rolled any ones, discard this card. Well, I didn't. So, yep. Let's do it again for the next one. We fail again and we get a one. So, um... You cannot remember the words, perhaps the magic transferred to another. If you rolled any ones, discard this card. No biggie. I don't care about this card because it doesn't help us at all. 
Um, that doesn't um, doesn't do anything. Whoops. Um, that doesn't do anything. Okay, Dark Pact. Roll a dice on a one. It's time to fulfill your bargain. There we go. That's so just a one. There we go. Roll it up. Three. Okay, few. All right. And finally, uh, discard the card at the top. So that gets discarded. I'll just move it here for now while we just read the rest of it. So that's all the reckoning effects, I think. So now we can. And so now we can just draw a gate. And we get the pyramids with a wraith, which this monster is spawned. The lead investigator gain when this monster is spawned, the lead investigator gains a cursed condition. Okay, so we get a cursed condition. Must be here. Okay. Only six is kind of successes. Oh, great. Okay. Oof, dear. I'm sure there's some way we can try and. If you would gain a. You know, on a roll one die on a four and a five or six, discard this card. Ah, I see. You'll never roll that. Okay. So only sixes work now. Um, a cold bit of wind howls through the trees and people everywhere cling to their fires and blankets. The chill has settled into your bones and there's no warmth to be found. Each investigator loses two health. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Two health and two sanity and discard a blessed condition. Oh, dear. In turn nine, I think. Um... Maybe it was turn 10, I'll, I'll, I'll check the video, but uh, unfortunately Dexter uh, goes a bit crazy. The Doom track was going to go to zero next time anyway. I wonder whether Dexter would have been better trying to take on that epic monster earlier rather than trying to get uh, something to help him, but um, uh, you know, hindsight is a wonderful thing. It was a very unusual game in the sense that there were barely any gates that came out, but the Doom Track, just the, the cards conspired to just make the Doom Track go down super fast. So that was all a little bit unfortunate. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe. I'm sure I've made a few errors as I usually do in Eldritch Horror and I very much appreciate the feedback. Um, next time, who are we going to do next time? Next time, let's shuffle them up. This is always one of my favourites. Next time will be Charlie Kane. Yes, indeed. Charlie Kane, the politician, will be up next time in the Investigator Games, and we will see how he goes. But until that time, thank you very much for watching. I'm Krabby Terror 8, and goodbye.